so today a bit of a different video for me it's been a while since I've done a fashion based one as you probably know from the videos I've been posting lately I love the summer I love the sun I love everything that comes with that so the fact that winter is looming is pretty depressing to me but there is a silver lining not only can we go and get the scarves and all the beanies that we've put at the back of our wardrobe we can also treat ourselves to a new winter coat so for the last few weeks that has been my challenge, my task at hand. I actually decided to go to Brent Cross to hunt for my winter coat. Because of where I work, I'm often in central London when it comes to shopping. Anyone else that shops in central London will know how stressful and busy it is and how you end up almost getting yourself in a flat because it's just too overwhelming. So I thought by going to Brent Cross, it's a bit further out from the bustle of everyone, you know, shopping and getting lunch and doing their worky stuff. And the good thing about going to a shopping centre is, you know, you're not going to get rained on. Um, which is always a bonus and in the UK you know that's always a risk. I don't know about you but if I know I'm going shopping and I know I've got a task at hand I almost like to plan ahead so I think what shops I'm going to target and also try and kind of formulate an order that's going to work. Sometimes I go to my favourite one first so I know what they've got or sometimes I leave it till last so I'm forced to you know try on different brands and things like that. So before heading to Brent Cross I decided to download their Plus app. Now if you go into the Discover tab in the Plus app and go to the Fashion tab you can work out what shops are going to be the shops you want to visit while you're there when you're looking for winter coats. So I had a look down and saw which ones I thought would have winter coats on and then I started to formulate the plan in my head. I also checked the Offers tab to just check there weren't any amazing offers that would allow me to get a coat with some discount or anything like that. And there was actually a really great offer courtesy of Fennec which meant you got a free gift with a purchase but more about that later. And of course I got distracted by many other offers on there in terms of beauty offers and great things you can get while you're in the shopping centre. But I stayed focused and I managed to resist but if you're going there just to browse then make sure you check the Plus app before you do so. For winter coats I wanted to try and hunt down the trend so I could tell you something about the shopping trip and actually advise you on maybe shops you could visit if you visit Brent Cross, the ones that will allow you to nail those trends. So, Tweed was one of the big autumn winter trends this season and it was seen at Chanel and Topshop Unique. The style varied from designer to designer, you got the more traditional classic looks and then I don't know, fashion for people that subverted those trends, maybe enlarged the tweed or used unusual or unexpected colour ways. So I wanted to see how the high street had translated that. So hopefully you'll be able to see some of the tweeds that I tried on at Brent Cross. Zara always delivers when it comes to outerwear and they didn't disappoint when it came to tweed. They had numerous options. But if you go to department stores like Fennec, they always have quite a good array as well because they just house so many brands within them. I like to embrace the Carrie Mulligan look in Never Let Me Go, team it with dresses, boots and a beanie. Go for that knowingly geeky chic look. Tweed's are also great to lay over print dresses to create that boho look as well. So you don't have to look like a complete country bumpkin if you want to embrace the tweed trend. So military is one of those trends that is in every season. It's so classic, it's timeless, so you can afford to spend a bit more because it's one of those hero pieces that will live on forever and you can pass down to your kids if need be. On the catwalks we saw them at Chloe, Gucci, Michael Kors, the list was endless and the high street always has a decent amount of offerings. You can embrace military in various different ways, just look out for coats that have really sparkly gold brass buttons, really statement buttons. You can go for coats that are in army hues like khaki or you can go for very traditional and smart looks like navy and black coats that just have the tailoring that just screams military. Military coats just look great with jeans and Breton tops and boots, but they're also great if you want to go a bit dressier. They're very versatile and always a good solid purchase. Now white is a bit of a tricky trend. For someone like me who is extremely clumsy and extremely messy, it is not a wise purchase. That said, it can create a really dramatic look and you can turn yourself into a snow princess or you can look ridiculously chic if you go for an all white outfit. You can achieve boho if you go for a white fur. It's, it's very versatile even though it sounds like quite a scary trend. With the white trend you'll see that a lot of the high street stores adapted it to suit normal people. They've realised that 
white it's very stark and very risky um, so they've toned it down and made it cream beige off-white which is just a bit easier to cope with now touch of fur is a great trim because it can allow you to be practical but also be glamorous at the same time so there's oodles of parkas and leather jackets and things like that that just add a fur trim just to add a bit of luxe to give a straightforward jacket instantly feel a bit more I don't know ladylike I guess now on to full length which is such a romantic and dramatic trend Kira Knightley in Pride and Prejudice you know when she's wading through the muddy moors to meet um, Mr Darcy who eventually gives her a big smooch but obviously it's not that practical in everyday life because if it's wet on the floor it soaks up the wetness and I, I don't know about you but I trip up when I wear floor length coats so the high street has once again adapted this to us normal folk and they've lifted the hem a bit so it's still dramatic it's still flowing um, but it's just a few inches off the ground which just makes it a lot easier to deal with I decided this was the trend I was really going to try and purchase a coat from because I don't have one in my wardrobe as it is at the moment. I decided to concentrate on Fennec because they have so many different brands and um, eventually I found one at Warehouse. It's not the typical full length, floor length coat because it is without sleeves but I think that gives it an up to date current look and I know a lot of the bloggers and fashionistas are loving these waistcoat coats and they're just very versatile because whatever you decide to layer underneath the coat it dramatically changes the whole aesthetic of your ensemble so it's a really useful piece to have in your wardrobe and I got that at the warehouse concession at Fennec for £75 so it's got a belt so you can cinch in the waist nicely and give you a great silhouette a waterfall draping bit at the front which it makes it a bit more interesting so there you go, so I will be sporting that a lot over autumn winter hopefully. Now let me tell you a little bit more about this Plus app. If you're going to shop at Fennec, check out the Plus app before you do so because I know they've got a really good offer on there at the moment that if you shop at the likes of Tommy Hilfiger, Armani Jeans, um, Just Cavalli, um, they're giving away some really amazing gifts if you purchase a coat from them. So I know that if you buy a coat from Tommy Hilfiger, they gift you an amazing luxurious cashmere blend blanket so it's definitely worth checking out the app before you make that purchase just in case you can get an extra goodie along the way also if you're going to eat when you're shopping which you should do to keep your energy levels up then make sure you just check there aren't any offers they've got a really nice array of restaurants at Brent Cross actually and sometimes I get torn about which one to go and sometimes finding out that there's an offer on the app sways me to go to that particular one and when I went they had bits of information on the app regarding GBK and a meal deal was only £9.95 or under a tenner at least. If you want to do lunch on a budget that was really helpful to know. If you plan on going to Brent Cross, download the app, have a little look through before you go so you can plan your shopping trip and have in mind what offers are on that day when you're visiting and sometimes there's really fun things going on in store as well which the app will inform you about. If you want to download the app, you just have to go to iTunes and search for the Brent Cross Plus app and the same goes for Google Play. I hope you found that interesting and let me know what trends you're looking forward to kind of tapping into in terms of your autumn winter coat purchases. I'm sure this isn't going to be the last coat I buy, so oh, it's one of my addictions actually. I've never been one for handbags, it's always been about winter coats for me, so yeah head to Brent Cross and there's oodles to choose from on that score so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video